Hello everyone back at Lemon Code 21. In this video, we are making a simple CRUD appy in NestJS. Let's get started. Before we start building a Nest application, you need to install the Nest CLI with the command below. Wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is complete, create a new Nest application with the command below. Once NPM has installed all the packages required to run the application, change the directory to the project folder and run the server. Install the Prisma CLI as a development dependency. We will remove three files that are not needed in this project. You can simply delete them to clean up the project structure. Next, we will configure Prettier to avoid any code formatting errors. Once the installation is finished, invoke the Prisma CLI locally using mpex with the command below. Now, create your initial Prisma setup using the Prisma and a command. First, open the NV file and change the database connection according to your configuration. Make sure to fill in the required information such as host, port, username, password, and database name. Next, navigate to the project folder and locate the schema. Prisma file. In this file, add the model definition for the book table. You can specify the columns needed, such as ID, title, author, and others. After adding the models in the schema, Prisma file, don't forget to run the migrate command to apply the changes to the database schema. You can use the command mpex prisma migrate dev to run the migration. Create a new folder named Book inside your project folder. In this folder, create a file called Book. Model. Import the necessary modules such as Prisma Client and implement the Book model according to the structure defined in the Prisma schema. Next, create the Prisma service it's file in your project folder. This file will be responsible for establishing the connection between the application and the database using Prisma Client. Import the Prisma Client module and create an instance of Prisma Client to be used in the application. Now, we will add the implementation function of onModuleInit in the service or controller that requires it. 
This function will be executed after the module is initialized. We can use this function to perform initial tasks, such as initializing the database connection or loading configurations. Create the book. Service, tease file in your project folder. This file will contain CEUD functions. Create, read, update, delete for the book entity. Import the Prisma client module and use the previously created Prisma client instance to execute queries to the database. Next, create the book, controller. This file in your project folder. This file will be responsible for defining all the API routes related to the book entity. Make sure to import the book service module that you created earlier and add an instance of book service to the class constructor. Inside book, controller. Each route will call the corresponding function inside book service to perform the necessary operations.
Finally, create the book. Module. File in your project folder. In this file, import all the controllers and providers you've created. Don't forget to add the at controller decorator to the book controller class to indicate that it is the controller related to the book entity. At this point, you have successfully created your Nest Prisma REST API. Now let's test the application using Postman. Let's do testing. If you want to modify the reek, request, and res response objects in your router functions, you can do so by adding the at rec and at res decorators to the function parameters. By adding at rec to a parameter, NestJS will inject the current request object into that parameter. Similarly, adding at res will inject the response object. In the above example, the at rec queue decorator injects the reek object of type request and the at res decorator injects the res object of type response. You can then use these objects to modify the request and response as required, such as setting headers, accessing query parameters, and more. Remember to import the request and response objects from the appropriate module, usually express, to ensure the correct typings are used. By utilizing these decorators, you have the flexibility to modify and manipulate the request and response objects within your root handler functions in NestJs.